Hey Josh, can I have some of that water? Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a sec. Here you go. Gee. Thanks. Hey, Josh, can I have some of that candy bar? Yeah, sure. Hi, Val. Mm, gee, thanks. You're welcome. Hey, Josh, can I talk to you about something real quick? Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so... Yeah. Well, um, so Miss Caitlin left, apparently. So, I don't know where she went. But, so, um, let's, let's actually get into our Bible study today. Uh, we're going to be looking in Genesis at the story of Cain and Abel. And we're going to look at how Abel had faith and what does he do that we can look at and um, imitate and be like him. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, guys. So today we're going to be starting kind of our, our unit that's on the great models of faith that we talked about the, at the end of our Hebrews lessons. Now, if you remember, one of the people that we talked about was Abel. Okay, now Abel... And his story is found in Genesis chapter 4, and it's in the first 16 verses. And we're going to do kind of a quick overview of who he is and um, what, what his story is before we really get into, well, how can we follow his faith? Because we need to know who he is before. How did that get there? Stop that. Get out of there. Okay, that's better. Um, anyways, we need to know who he is and what he did before we can follow his example. So let's get started. So, as you may know, uh, Adam and Eve, the first two people, their first two sons were named Cain and Abel. Okay. Now, Cain and Abel grew up, and they became they had two very special jobs. Cain became a farmer, and he worked very hard and was really proud of his work. Abel became a shepherd and took care of the sheep and loved his sheep with everything he owned, with everything he had. They were they were everything to him. Well, a time came, and uh, a Abel and Cain both offered sacrifices. Abel picked his best little lamb with the best pieces of meat on him and gave everything he had to God, his best to God, saying, I love you. I want to give this to you as a present, as something to show you how much I love you. Cain came up and offered some of the fruit or the vegetables from his garden to God. Now, for some reason or another, God did not like Abel's sacrifice, or sorry, he did not like Cain's sacrifice, but he loved Abel's. Now, we know he loved Abel's because uh, it was, like I said, it was the best, and it was given with a heart that, with Cable's, not Cable, <laughs> with Abel's um, heart being in the right place. He wanted to give this to God. He was totally... Uh, willing to give him the best part of what he had. Now, we don't know for sure why God didn't like Cain's, but except the, what we do know is that afterwards, Cain became mad at God and was like, well, I work hard at this. You should basically say, why don't I get the special attention that Abel does? And based on this and a couple other verses we find out later in the Bible, we can assume that God didn't like Abel's or Cain's sacrifice. Sorry, I keep mixing them up. He didn't like Cain's sacrifice because his heart wasn't in the right place or um, he didn't give him his best. He didn't give God his best um, fruit and vegetables. Uh, anyways, and now we kind of know how the story ends. Cain becomes so upset that he kill and angry with God that he kills Abel out of jealousy. Now, that's not what I really want to focus on, though. What I want to focus on is, well, what or how can we have good faith like Abel? And knowing how Abel acted, well, what, what, is, what can we learn from him? Well, what we can learn from him is that 
Abel gave his best to God with a happy and willing heart. He had faith that God was going to take care of him no matter what, so he gave him his best and was willing with it, and meaning and willing means uh, you really want to. It's not just a, oh, I have to do this. It's a, I want to do this. Okay, so here, here are a few ways I thought of that we can give our best to God. The first, and that most people probably do, and that most people probably think of, is your money. If you, you know the tithes and offering plates we pass around in the big church? Okay, a lot of people see giving God their first fruits, uh, a big part of that, and their first fruits are their, um, their best, okay? Um, their best of whatever they can give, okay? And when I say best, I don't mean the first of everything. I don't mean the last of everything. I don't mean a specific thing. Whatever you have to God, or whatever you have, give your best to God. There's a there's a story in the Bible about a widow who gave her last coins to the church. It's a parable that Jesus told. Now the the lady gave her last coin. She was very poor. And then there was also a man who gave a lot, just a lot of money and was very boastful about it and very, uh, and he bragged about it a lot. God said, or Jesus said, God appreciated the lady who gave just the one penny, the little, the little amount of coin she had because she gave it every, or willingly, and it was everything she had. Okay, she gave him her best. Whereas the other guy, he had plenty more money. He, he didn't really care about giving God his best. Um, so it, it, it's that heart thing and giving the best uh, that God loves. And a lot of people do this with their money by before they get anything they want or need even, they give God uh, a part of their, their money that they make, usually about 10%. So if you have $10, that'd be $1. If you have $100, that'd be $10. And giving that to God with saying, God, this is for you. I can't, I wouldn't be able to make this money if it wasn't for you. So here's, here's a part of that to glorify you. Now, another top way people give God their first fruits is through a quiet time in the morning, giving God a part of their day where, uh, where they can just sit with God and be with God. Now, some people, a lot of people like to do this in the morning the, with the actual first moments of the day. Um, I've, I've also known some people who say, you know what? I, I am so tired in the morning. I can't wake up and do that. I will be half asleep when I'm doing that. So I'm going to do my quiet time at the end of the day where I can give God my best time or even during another part of the day. I, I don't think God is so much hung up on the time as much as where what are you giving him your best okay and so a lot of but a lot of people do use that and myself included use that time in that morning to give god the best part of your day and the start of it okay uh moving on you can give god or give god your best by helping others Okay, giving food to people who are home, homeless and hungry, um, helping your friends, giving your energy and what you do as part um, and, or either that or the things you own to people who need it is another way that you're helping and giving your best to God by helping his people, helping the people he cares about. Finally, another way that you can do uh, help God is to help the church. Now, I got basically some cleaning and builder stuff to because i know i've helped out at the church with uh building some of the new or building some of the new hallways taking things around the church moving things but also giving your time to the church leading a bible study group or uh preaching at the church or uh, even making sure at the church you're at all the events to uh, help people Whatever you do at the church, part of that is giving your best to God. But you have to be – the point is, remember, giving your best to God means uh, being willing to do it, being happy to do it. Okay? So uh, what I want you to do right now 
is I want you to pause the video here. And after I'm done talking in a little second, I want you to pause the video and I want you to think about what can you do to give your best to God? How can you give your first fruits to God? Make sure if you're having some troubles, uh, ask your parents and um, think about it and get a good answer to that before we finish this video. Okay? See you in a second. So, uh, like Abel, we need to be giving God our best, our first, uh, what's called our first fruits. Now, first fruits doesn't always mean the first of something, but I always think of it as the best of something, giving him the best of our time, our resources, our money. And, you know, Ugh. I do that a lot. And, hey, where's my McDonald's? I asked it and you said you, yeah, uh-huh. Okay. You never told me what you wanted. Oh. I didn't give you my best time, did I? No. I'm sorry, Miss Caitlin. He's okay, Mr. Josh. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. That drink is looking real good, though. Nope, it's mine. <sighs> well, as you can tell, I missed out on some stuff, and there are some things we miss out on if we don't give God our best. But thankfully, God is faithful, and he'll still work with us even through that. Okay, guys, so uh, that's it for this week. I hope you had a good time. And I'll talk to you all next week. See you later. Bye.